Oh, it's very fruity. Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have the last Amrut on the cask and it's the Amrut Intermediate Sherry. And the name is program here. It was matured in Virgin and X bourbon cask. So just a normal maturation for the Amrut Indian single malt. And then they finished it in Spanish although also sherry butts for one year and then they fill it back uh, back into bourbon casks again. Bit of a strange process here. Um, what do we expect here? We expect um, sweet, uh, I would expect a sweet whiskey because uh, I have the other ones and it was a bit of a good sweetness in there. And now um, I expect a bit more of a, a complex tone from the, from the Oloroso Sherry but Oloroso sherry um, is um, not a sweet sherry like the PX, um, but it also it still contains uh, a good part of uh, fruitiness, and I think I remember it also uh, contained. Uh, it also said to be be nutty, and we're talking about the the real Oloroso here because there are also cheap Olorosos from from the supermarket that. Um, that are really, really sweet, but uh, they are more seldom. Okay, we have the Amrut Single Malt Intermediate Sherry. And um, and it says uh, Korken kaputt. It means uh, I'm expecting that I'm getting a, a faulty cork on the top. So that's, that's why the, this bottle found its way to me. Hmm. Korken kaputt. Um, yeah, ooh, everything, ooh, um. oh no, mm. yeah, the cork is still in there, yep, cork and kaput. Okay, there we have it, really nice, and the bottle is not colored, not chill filtered, and no age statement. We can expect it to be um, three years of age because that's the normal spirit from from Amrut plus the one from the Oloroso Sherry, but yeah, and that's about the stats. Oh, ABVs is uh, 51, uh, 57.1% ABV. That's a uh, calculate 100, 110, 114.2 proof. Let's get this this cork out, and then I'm going to replace it with a a replacement cork. Oh, I'm already through. Hopefully, I don't break it. I just set it. So I'm back. Yeah, it pulverized when I when I opened it. So a little bits flowing in there. Hopefully, I don't get them in my glass, so I can just. Take them out. Yep, yeah, there was a bit. Um, you should have a look that they don't float around in there all, all the time. They float around in there for uh, a few minutes. That doesn't have any effect. But um, if they float around in there for years, then they might have an effect. And also, if you throw bottles away, if you finish the bottle, keep a few corks. They they also always in these situations might come in handy. So let's have a try. Mm. Oh, it's very fruity. Oh, you get a bit of a banana going in on there. Bit of, bit of a cherry note going in there. One, oh, like a like a fruit cake, like a really good fruit cake, fruit pie. Oh yeah, that's that's my kind of uh, that's my kind of sweet whiskey. Yeah, I like that. Fruit. 
fruity, sweet. Mm. Mm. But strangely enough, I don't have that that vanilla caramel thing going on. No, maybe maybe a bit caramel. have it in your mouth also it's it's really oily I say that no oh yeah it is pretty oily as well so all the the fruitiness of let's say more fresh fruits like cherry go deeply into uh, raisins dried fruits figs dried figs mm. a bit more of a Deeper notes like, mm, I have to say, chocolate, that chocolatey, that reminds me of a, an old drink, um, it's made from, from malt, it's kind of a lemonade, it's called caramel, so I don't know, um, German thing. Mm. Mm. Malt, definitely, a very subtle spiciness, mm. but with a the dominant flavor is definitely dried fruits. Dried fruits with raisin figs. Mm. Raisin, raisin is dominant in there. And it's, it's pretty long. But um, just when you swallow it, also a bit sharp, due to the fact that it's 57.1% ABV. Really, a really good one. I think, I think it has its price as well. Mm. Mm. Bit of a malty chocolate flavor as well, combined with these raisins. This raisin chocolate, not everyone's favorite, but it really reminds me of that one. Mm. Mm, it's a good whiskey. I think it has also a bit of a higher price tag on it, but um, This also comes to a bit of a discussion now um, we have uh, a whiskey that was in a normal barrel and then you refill it into a uh, A sherry butt um, This could be a way how they could solve the age problem, but Again, if you wait for the barrels to, to evaporate into a half and then you fill them into a sherry butt and then you wait again until it halves and then you fill it, I don't know, again together into sherry butts, that's just throwing money at the problem. <laughs> it's uh, it's got, just gonna cost more. So yeah, it could, it, it could be the solution for getting an Amrut H statement whiskey, but I don't think it will happen in the future. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you found this interesting, then please feel free to go on whiskey.com, learn all about single malt, bourbon, um, and other types of whiskies, or share this with you with your friends. And thanks for watching.